Win Bum and uh, Faith Evans between the lines on the People Station, Magic 102.1. Candy Eastman here with Dr. Hardy, fibroid specialist at Houston Fibroids. He's here to share some options for treating uterine fibroids. Hello. Hey, Candy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Dr. Hardy? I'm doing great. Great. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, no. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to let our family inside the candy store know the best way to treat uterine fibroids. So, yes, ma'am. So, Dr. Hardy, what are some of the options for treating uterine fibroids? Well, first and foremost, you have to remember that treatment should be reserved for women who have symptoms. A lot of women with fibroids don't have symptoms at all, and they really don't need to be treated until they do have symptoms. If patients have mild symptoms, it's more appropriately treated with medical therapy, oral birth control pills, sometimes an intrauterine device as well. Once they fail, that kind of therapy is when they usually see a doctor and then we start talking procedures. Now, surgical procedures available are myomectomy, where you remove individual fibroids, and that can be done either in open surgery, sometimes laparoscopically. And then after that, hysterectomy is the next surgical option where you remove the entire uterus. Uterine fibroid embolization, some people also call it uterine artery embolization, is a procedure, is a minimally invasive procedure where you shut the blood flow down to the fibroids. And it's uh, very appropriate for ladies who, mostly through having kids who want to avoid surgery, is a non-surgical option that they can be treated as an outpatient, go home same day, recover in their own home and be back to work in a week. And what about the UFE process? Uh, can you go through that a little bit, Dr. Hardy? Myomectomy is really good for ladies, particularly in childbearing age, who have one or two, maybe three fibroids that are easily removed. The problem with myomectomy is it has a very high recurrence rate. So women with many, many fibroids typically seek out other options. That's when they're offered hysterectomy. And in that case, uh, hysterectomy can always be performed, but a lot of people uh, try to reserve hysterectomy as a last resort. Uh, and then the uterine fibroid embolization is more appropriate. As far as the UFE procedure itself, what happens is first a uh, patient has to uh, be evaluated by a doctor to see if they're eligible for it, see if they do have the appropriate symptoms, uh, check to see if the symptoms actually uh, are being caused by fibroids. There's a number of causes of pelvic pain as well as abnormal uterine bleeding. Fibroids is a very common one, and so they have to be assessed for that to make sure they do have fibroids, they do have symptoms, and we believe their symptoms are coming from fibroids. Typically, ladies have already had imaging, an ultrasound in their doctor's office or maybe from a hospital that uh, diagnosed fibroids. If we talk to a, a lady and she is very interested in uterine fibroidization and she's trying to avoid a hysterectomy, if we think they're a good candidate, the next step for us would be to get an MRI examination of the pelvis. MRI gives us uh, uh, more information and uh, the necessary information that's needed before we do an embolization procedure. It'll show us how many fibroids they have, where they're located, and very importantly, it'll show us how good the blood flow is to the fibroids. We're talking uterine fibroids with Dr. Hardy, fibroid specialist at HoustonFibroids.com. You can request an appointment at 713-575-3686. And Dr. Hardy will be back next hour at 1118, around the same time, so we can talk about what you should do if your OBGYN tells you a hysterectomy is your only option. We're the People Station, Magic 102.1. It's the big Biggest night on television, starring some of the biggest names in entertainment. Woo! Jasmine Sullivan, Andrea Johnson, The Brat, Avery Sunshine, and Erica Campbell.